guys, I know it's been a while since I filmed a video, but literally today is the first day I've had off in 10 days. I'm very tired. <laughs> I work in retail and you know around the holidays, uh, it gets crazy. I actually had a few subscribers come in to the event we were having at Mill 77, the place that my brother and brother-in-law and sister own. Um, you guys, I show you guys video all the time of the place, but we had a four day Christmas event. It was actually two nights and then two full days. Let me tell you, I did not step away from that register the entire time. Me and my um, coworker were uh, about dead last night when we left. Um, and we were really tired and it was so successful. I think um, my bosses were actually blown away. So thank you to my subscribers who came in and said hello. Um, I'm sorry I couldn't like step aside and talk to you, but you guys can vouch for me when I say, you know, you guys saw how crazy it was. So, anyways, I've been doing some shopping of my own. I don't know when I've gotten the time. Um, and I've picked up a few Christmas things now. I don't need anything, but I have been selling some of my things that I don't like anymore or want anymore. So, I allowed myself a little Christmas budget and... The stores have not disappointed me. Um, I was out Christmas shopping for Madison too, but I'm not gonna show you that stuff because I think she watches some of my videos. And obviously I don't wanna spoil anything. So see that pile of stuff behind me? That's everything I have to show you, plus a few things I've already put up. I will show you everything is from Walmart, Target, Michaels, and a few things from where I work. I will show you, unfortunately, you won't be able to go out and get that stuff. Uh, cause if you, well, if you live in Massachusetts, you might be able to, but, um, yeah, so sorry about that, but I thought I'd just show you anyway in case you got some inspiration and could get something similar. So let me go get the stuff and we'll get started. I guess I'll start with Michael's since I think I got fewest things there. Um, I went there today looking for some sort of garland to go on the shelves near my staircase in my living room. And I found one that I liked. Um, it was half off. <clears throat> and I'm losing my voice. Because I have been saying for four days straight, do you have a chip in your card? Okay, insert the chip. So, I'm losing my voice. Uh, this was $16.99 regularly, and I got it half off. So, uh, it's six, well, how long is it? Six feet. So, let me see if I can show you close up. It does have a little sparkle on it, but I liked it because it was flocked. And I liked the thinner um, branches. And it has tiny little baby pine cones on it. So, um, if I get this up today, I will show you where it's going. Alright, so the next thing I got at Michael's, I love these. They don't last that long, but I just like to put them all around my house all at once. So that it's like, bam, Christmas tree. So I got the Centicles. Sensicles? Sensicles, however you say it. And this is my favorite one, White Winter Fur. The other balsam one or whatever it's called, I don't like it. It smells weird. So, uh, these rang up at, I don't know, I think it said $8.99 on the sign and it rang up like six something. So, I'm going to put these out as soon as I'm done filming this. So, the last thing I got at Michael's was this garland and it was $19.99, half off. So, I paid 10 bucks for it. And it's these little wool balls. And this is also six feet long. Um, I'm gonna drape this over something. I like this so much. I like this so much. <laughs> this is the only one they had left too. It always happens, I know. Um, but this is such a good deal. And it's so cute. So, I'm sorry about my nails, they're chipping off. First world problems. All right, so that's everything that I got at Michael's. Okay, so I went to Target looking for a Christmas present for Madison that they did not have, so I have to keep checking. But of course I had to go to the dollar spot because I went to a different Target and this one actually had things in the dollar spot. I must live in a town with the worst Target on the planet. They don't stock things and then when they do, it's like two things. And then next week they'll do two more things. It's like, what? So I drove a little further and this one was stocked. I walked in and I was like, yes. So I ended up getting um, five of these little white bottle brush trees. I do have a little um, obsession with bottle brush trees, but these were a really good deal and they were a dollar each. 
So I got five of those, um, all white, in this style, like single, singular ones. They have like pink and stuff, but I like the white ones. Nice. Then I got these last year, so I wanted to pick up another set because they're so cute. So this is the tiny little baby ones, and these were $3. Um, how many do you get? You get six in here. That's really cute. And then I found this. I couldn't find any more with two in a pack. And they were $3, so just two of the green ones. I ended up getting um, three of these. I need one more. And they're for my tablescape. But I will have to be on the hunt for one more. They're actually little um, gift toppers. Like You put them on a gift. But I'm going to use them on my um, dining room tablescape. And they were a dollar each. So they're little holly berry wreaths. And it says merry and bright. And I really like how it looks like like a ribbon. I don't know. I'm weird. <laughs> I have Christmas problems. I have Christmas problems. And then also in the Target dollar spot, I got these warm white lights. I got these because um, like last week, Madison came to Target with me and we picked out like a little tree for her. You guys have been following me for a while. You know she has a regular sized white tree we put up. She wants, like, she wanted a small one. So we got her one of those, and then in the dollar spot, oh, we got her um, lights, these lights, but they were the multicolor changing ones, and they're really cute. And the colors that they changed to are really nice. So I wanted to pick up the warm white ones because um, I plan on doing a little tree, probably in my kitchen. I'll talk about that in a little while when I show you something else. But I got two packs of those, and they're battery operated, and they are dollars each. Also in the Target dollar spot I picked up one of these little olive buckets. Um, I got the red one. This is also for a little tree, the tree that I'm going to be doing in my kitchen I think. But I wanted to get one just in case. If I don't use it for that then I can obviously use it for something else. Um, because it's really cute. It's only three dollars for this. Like hello. Get them while you can. They have a green one and then they have like a like a light blue handled one. I swear I saw someone haul um, like just no colored one. They were just silver, but maybe I was dreaming. Oh, and I got one more thing at the Target Doll. No, two things. Um, I got this buffalo check plaid, whatever you want to call it, banner. This is my favorite type of like plaid, just a black and red. I love it. And this was three dollars. Um, I don't know where I'm gonna put this yet, but I went to one Target, they didn't have it. I went to another one, they did have it, so I figured I should just grab it before I can't find it. And then I think this is the last thing I picked up in the dollar spot area. This was actually $7, but I got another one of these black and red for um, my tablescape. I will show you guys. I don't know if I'm showing you in this video or like my um, Christmas tour. This is not done yet, but I did show some of it on my Instagram. Um, but I got one of these blanket scarves for my table, and I wanted another one for my mantle. So this one's different, and this is the colors in it. It's like green, navy, um, black, yellow, red. But the black, I mean the yellow and red are really subtle, but I really like this kind of plaid too. I just love this. So I'm going to actually use this as like a, a runner. I like bunched up runner on my mantle, I think. That is the plan behind it, and the thought behind it, and this was $7. More things at Target. Um, I picked up, this was back in the holiday section. I picked this up for Madison's Little Tree. She's obsessed with narwhals. <laughs> so I saw this and I was like, yep, I gotta get that. This was $3. Um, were all of their ornaments $3 last year? I feel like they were cheaper. Maybe it's just me. But... Three bucks for him, and then I saw this one, and I was like, I, I need to get this. If she thinks it's weird, then I'm gonna keep it, but I doubt she will. It's so cute. It's legit, The Little Mermaid. Not legit, but they had different ones. And this one had red hair, so it reminded me of Ariel. And she has a little bun with a crown. And this was $3 too, and it's so cute. And her, her, her um, room is nautical themed anyway. She does wanna change it, but, um, so I thought this would look cute on our tree. So they had different colored tails and hair too. So I picked up 
picked so up. So the last thing that I picked up at Target, I actually picked one of the things up the other day and then I circled around today in a, that other Target, the better one, and they had a bigger selection of stuff. So uh, you're probably wondering what I think of the new line from Joanna Gaines at Target. Uh, I shared a little bit on my Instagram about it and I've been hearing a lot of um, reviews on it myself through Instagram and stuff. Uh, my personal thoughts on it are, I like it, I don't love it. Um, it's not my personal style, all of it. I said in my Instagram I was looking for the right word and I used the word modern, which I think it is uh, the right word to use for it. A lot of the stuff it looks pretty modern to me and I'm not into modern, like um, home decor or anything like that. Obviously you guys know that. Um, I have nothing against it, like I don't want anyone to get offended. So, um, but I feel like it's very modern. Um, not my taste. Some of the stuff I really liked. Um, I really liked the Santa mailbox, which has been sold out. Um, anyways, and oh, I did get one at uh, Michael's I can show you. Um, so I don't need to buy that because uh, I have one already, but um, I bought some napkins, which are already out on my table. I do like the napkins. Some of the stockings are cute, and um, like some of the linen stuff I do like. I like the Christmas wreaths, but overall... Um, not what I was expecting, and I feel like a lot of people feel the same way. Um, I feel like they were trying to cater to, like, a bigger, um, a broader span of people, maybe, who like, um, you know, she was trying to mix in, I think, farmhouse with modern and all that, which is awesome, because, you know, then more people would want to buy it. Um, but... Overall, I think um, my friend Jen from Craftomaniac actually explained it perfectly on her Instagram. Um, she said is very masculine, which I agree. The colors are very masculine. I mean, I like I like like the hunter green color and stuff. But with you know, um, you think Joanna Gaines, you think farmhouse, and a lot of farmhouses very light colored neutrals stuff like that. So it was very masculine. It did remind me of like like Jen said. Um, I don't know, a man's loft in like New York City. Like if I was a man in New York City and had like a penthouse or something, then that stuff would have been perfect. Um, but, you know, she also said that, um, which is, she's right, there are more than just this one season that we have to look forward to. So hopefully um, her stuff changes. It's not always as masculine. and um, But I still think it's great. I still like the stuff it's just not my personal taste most of it and that's okay not everything has to be everyone's taste all the time um, we find things that we like and we find things that we don't so um, that was very long-winded but that's just my own personal opinion on the stuff I, there are a few things that I really do like I do like the black silverware um, I think that's cool um, like I said the linens and stuff I do love I like most of the Christmas stuff. Um, it's just kind of like the kitcheny stuff that I don't really like. And whatevs. You know what I mean? So, except this. I got these pot holders. Um, and I love them. It actually came two to a pack and it was only $5.99. And that's another thing. The prices I think are great. Um, I don't know really what I was expecting for prices, but I was pleasantly surprised. So that's really good. And these are really nice quality. Um, nice and thick and I needed new pot holders anyway so I was like you know what treat yourself and yeah so like I said I got the napkins and I will show them to you on the table um I liked the green napkins too but I didn't think they would match so I didn't get those so anyways I still love Jojo no heart feelings guys Walmart Walmart is stepping up their game I'm so excited uh their stuff is so inexpensive and they're getting so good. They're getting it, I think. Um, in certain areas, they're getting it. So I I needed new stocking holders because I didn't have any last year. Pretty sure I used tape on my mantle, which is really weird, I know. So these came two to a pack and I had to buy four packs. No, I had to buy three packs. I needed five, but they came two to a pack, so I have an extra one. And these are galvanized stocking holders and they're flat and I'm very excited that they're flat because I don't like the big ones that get in the way of um, what I'm trying to accomplish 
So I think, well I know that we're hanging our TV above the mantle soon, so I wanted something flat so that it wouldn't stick up. So I got uh, three packages of these, two in a package, $5.98. Also picked up this, uh, I'm sure you've seen this, it's Flocked Garland, $12.96. Are we kidding me? It's such a good deal. Guys, so, guys. this is um, nine foot and it's flocked and it's really nicely flocked. Like it looks like snow just like fell. And it's really dark, I'm sorry. Um, I got that and it was only 13 bucks. Now I'm gonna also show you, I did get another tree. <laughs> I can't help myself. I love trees. Um, this one eventually will replace the one in my dining room that I have now when we get our real tree for the living room. So I put this one in the living room for now, um, just so I can look at something until we get our real tree. So I'm gonna bring you in there and show you. This is the six foot um, flocked tree from Walmart. It was not lit, I put the lights on and I couldn't find any non-blinking lights, but whatever. Um, I just wanted it to be lit and it was $30, guys, $30. I know last year these sold out really fast. I wanted to grab one and every time I go back, I want to get another one for our bedroom because I want a tree in my bedroom. I know I'm, I want one. <laughs> um, there's none left every time I go back. So um, if you see this and you've been wanting one, I would suggest you pick it up because they always sell out. And the flocking on this is really nice. I mean, for $30, you cannot go wrong if you want. Um, it's a skinnier tree. It's not, you know, big and fat, but it is perfect for the price. You cannot beat this price. Um, and I put mine in a crock that I had. I just, the base that it came with, you're supposed to snap in the um, little legs. I just left those in the box. I put the tree stump in um, the crock, and then I just put towels around it to hold it up. So someone had asked me how I would, because I had mentioned on my Instagram that I was going to put it in a bucket, but I ended up putting it in the crock, and I love it. So I am... I'm going to be moving this one into the dining room when we get our real tree. Um, so this is just temporary for now. And I love it. All right, so I'm going to move on to the stuff that I picked up at the place I work. Because, um, unfortunately, this is the stuff that you can't run out and buy. But, um, you know, they still have similar stuff everywhere. So I got this scale. Don't mind the mess in the background. Like, literally, my plant is chilling because my dog is crazy. Um... I got this little scale. It's not like a real scale. It's just doesn't go up and down or anything. Um, but I just put little bottle brush trees and I don't, I have nowhere near done decorating. Like look at my mantle right now. What? That is so sad. Um, I've just been so busy with work. So, um, I just put the little bottle brush trees in there for now and I think it looks cute. It's fine for now. Tiny, tiny sneak peek of the shelves next to my um, stairs in my living room, but I got this sign where I work cut your own Christmas trees. It was actually um, They're custom made so um, A girl makes them and then brings them in and we sell them so I love this one So I picked that one up and I'm not going to show you all of this shelf Because you're gonna have to wait for my Christmas tour, but I love it. It's so cute and you can get these I love round signs I actually saw one at Michael's that I kept putting back and then put it in my cart, put it back because like how many signs do I need? But there was one, I'm pretty sure it said cut your own Christmas trees. Um, there was one that said Merry Christmas and it had a red truck on it and they were half off. So it was literally like 10 to 12 bucks. Round sign, it was really cute. So if you want a round sign, you could check out Michael's. So these are the napkins that I got from Target and cool dog hair. Ugh. Um, it was a set of four for $9.99. I don't know if you could see. They're really big, actually, and it's, like I said, a good price. And, oh my god. Can we, can we just take a minute? This is my daughter. Yeah. <laughs> so, um, I don't think my tablescape is going to stay like this. Because I got those little, remember those little wreath things that said Merry and Bright. I'm still playing around with it. So that's why I'm not going to show you guys the whole thing. Because, um... I want to wait till my house tour, but I wanted to show you the napkins at least. They had different um, options. I felt like this color, like the black and white, 
matched my table the best because like I said, here's that other blanket scarf that I got from the Target dollar spot. Um, I felt like the green would have clashed. So I picked up the black ones, a four pack for $9.99 from the Magnolia line at Target. Really cute. So this is the last thing that I picked up from where I work. Um, the event that we had was like a Christmas event. So all of the vendors brought in Christmas stuff, endless Christmas stuff, guys. So I picked up these Santa mugs. Actually, I had this one and I had this one. So I just threw them in. But look at all of these Santa mugs. Some of them are in a little, you know, rough shape, but that's okay. And guys, you guys. Are you serious? Small baby ones. Oh my gosh. I, I almost fell over. I was so, so, so excited when I found these. Oh, wait a minute. Maybe these are the ones that I didn't have. I think I had these. Regardless, I had two and then the rest of them I purchased. And then this was... Guys. Guys. It's so adorable. You guys, I love... Like, this is like the number one thing I love around Christmas. Vintage Santa mugs. They have to be vintage though, because those are the ones I like the best. I mean, they're so adorable. Cool nail gel. Hey guys, I got these at oh, where I work too. They're a little like wool mice. Don't have any need for these, but they were so cute. And they have all different ones. Let it snow somewhere else. He has a little acorn cap on his head. So cute. So I don't know where I'm going to put those, but those are really cute. Here is the... Um, North Pole mailbox that I've been talking about, and I finally got it. Um, I got it at Michael's, and I love it. I don't, I don't know where I'm gonna put it. I might put. I thought I was gonna put it out on my porch. I still might do that. Um, I might put it where that is. I don't know yet. What do you guys think? It's so cute, though. I love it. So that is all the Christmas stuff that I've picked up over the past couple weeks. Um, I think I showed you everything. If I didn't, I'm always updating my Instagram stories. So if you want, you can follow me there. Follow me on my stories. Come say hi. It's at home with Jillian. I'll leave the name um, on the screen. And I hope you guys are doing well. Thanks so much for the messages asking where I am, if I'm okay. I am okay. Thank you so much. Um, I am just like everyone else around this time of year. So busy. And... Um, I need to remember to make time for you guys because you guys are awesome. So I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.